Suns strokes, Suns tie record for worst loss in franchise history to Spurs Phoenix, even before tip-off, the Phoenix Suns' odds of winning Wednesday night were slim. For one, they played the night before, losing at the LA Lakers. Devin Booker was once again in street clothes, sitting out a second straight game with a left hit pointer. And Tyson Chandler didn't play, because of a sore neck. Oh, and the opponent, the San Antonio Spurs, had been off since Saturday. Add it all up and the result was to be expected. The Spurs won going away, 129-81, in front of an announced crowd of 15,993 at Talking Stick Resort Arena. The 48-point defeat equaled the opening night setback to Portland for the worst loss in franchise history. The beatdown happened quickly. The Suns scored nine points in the first quarter and had 31 at halftime. Both numbers were season lows. In fact, the nine first quarter points were their fewest for any quarter the season and two off a franchise worst mark. Alex Len, 14 points, Josh Jackson, 13, Dragon Bender, 12, and TJ Warren, 11, all reached double figures in scoring. But they were no match for LaMarcus Aldridge and company. Aldridge led six Spurs in double figures. He scored 23 on 10 of 14 shooting and grabbed 13 rebounds for his 21st double-double of the season. With the victory, the Spurs, 35-21, sweep the season series for the second time in three years. They've won 13 of the last 14 meetings in the series. Meanwhile, the Suns, 18-38, have lost four straight, 9 of 10 and 12 of 13 overall. Their 38 losses are the most in the NBA. The good there weren't many first-half highlights, but one certainly stood out. At the 7:28 mark of the second quarter, Tyler Eulis passed to Jackson for the one-handed slam to polish off the alley-oop. It was Jackson's second made field goal of the game and Ulysses' first assist, and as it turned out, his only assist. Ulysses exited 18 seconds later due to back spasms and did not return, leaving Josh Gray as the only healthy point guard. Running the offense at times, Jackson scored eight third quarter points, doubling his first half output. He shot four of seven from the field, missing his only three point attempt, and grabbed a team best five rebounds. Warren, too, nearly doubled his first half scoring total. He had seven on two of four shooting and made all three of his free throw attempts. Combined, the two were 10 of 26 for 23 points through three quarters of action. Gray had nine points, seven assists, four rebounds and four steals in his third career game. He became the first NBA rookie to have at least four each of points, assists, rebounds and steals since Minnesota's Chris Dunn in his third career game on November 1, 2016. The last Suns rookie to do so in one of his first three games was Alvin Adams, 14 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, 5 steals, in his NBA debut at Portland on October 25, 1975.